Another GHI Mojave combo. Uh, look at that head. Holy smokes. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kirill. This is 514 Reptiles. I think this video is going to be uploaded probably a day late only because the clutch that I want to show you guys in this video just shed out. I think actually one of them, maybe while I'm filming this, one of them shed out. I'm not sure. Uh, the last one. But she's not, she's just uh, I think a vanilla or a fire. Um, so it's not like a crazy combo to show you guys. But the rest of the clutch is insane. Um, this is my first year hatching GHI Mojave combo. So pairing with GHI Mojave Fire Pastel, uh, Vanilla Pastel, paired to a fire. So hopefully I make some like GHI Cream, GHI Screams, and you know, the GHI Mojave Scream, obviously, which is the all combo. And this clutch did not disappoint. So I have the video of me cutting them and then cutting the eggs, and then I have them. I'm gonna go down now actually and film them um, out of the egg and shed out. And man. This, I love this clutch. You guys are gonna love it. But before we get to that, I actually just uh, re-signed up to Morph Market. I uh, I re -up I uploaded I think six snakes right now. I'm gonna upload some more. Guys, don't forget, most of my season hasn't hatched yet. I'm at like I think I think 13 clutches hatched, and I'm all the way to like 32, 33. So I have a lot of the incubator. I have like you know five hatching in october and they're like six hatching in november then i have stuff ovulating now i had oh my god sentinel male bred to an orange dream fire yellow belly female this girl i got a few years back at a big expo in toronto i got her from uh, chris towers from uh, chris tower reptiles orange dream fire yellow belly female freaking amazing so stoked for that clutch she gave me like i think eight or nine eggs super happy about that that's gonna be cool and um, yeah, that's it. So let's get to it. So this video, I have the, yeah, Morph Market, 504 Reptiles. Check it out. If you have any questions, let me know. I have a big list. It's not all on there, but I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Um, yeah, egg cutting. And then after that, I'm going to show them off. And it's crazy. Stick, it's, uh, stick around. Stick, uh, can't even talk. Stick around. Bye. All right, guys, so here we are. This is clutch number 14. The pairing was a GHI Vanilla Pastel Mojave to a fire. So hopefully we can hit some cream combos in here. Uh, the first one already pipped yesterday and got out. Today is day 55. And what I believe to be a, uh, let's see, I'll show that here. I believe this to be a GHI Mojave Vanilla, just based on the head stop as well. I already sexed her because I'm impatient and it's a female. Okay, cool. Alright, so this one already started sloshing its egg as well. But we'll start with we'll start with this one right here. So this is another one of those fun clutches. There's a lot of uh, it's a lot of stuff that I'm working on, a lot of uh, pairings that are project animals, so nothing really visual comes out of it. But, in this situation, there's a lot of fun little uh, combos that can come out of this uh, this, uh, this clutch. So, it's pretty fun. We'll start with this. Tiring out a new... Every one of our videos lately have been a new setup. Um, just trying to get the camera thing going. We're almost there. Got a few things to figure out, but we're almost there. This is, looks like some sort of a GHI Mojave combo, but I can't really tell, it's upside down. Let me try to get a better look for you guys. Let's see here. You guys can see, nice and dark. Nice pattern at the top. So that's GHI Mojave, though it could be also vanilla. Not sure, we'll have to see when it comes out and probably when they shed, especially vanilla, it takes a few sheds for them to um, to adjust the, the colors, but it's pretty cool, nice and dark, I love that. Yeah, I actually don't have any females like this, so maybe I'll hold one, but actually, you know what, I have that um, the GHI Mojave Vanilla Pasta Leopard female that I held back. 
But something like that with just one stripe going around the chlorophyll pattern, that might be something I'd keep. Alright, so the next one here. We'll see what comes out of this. I'm really hoping I can come up with some G Chai Mojave cream combos. That would be really, really cool. Definitely would be something. I think this is another GHI Mojave combo. Yeah, oh wow, that's pretty cool. Let's look at this. I don't know if you guys can see this. That's freaking cool. Look at that. Here, let me adjust this a little bit better. Give me a second. That's cool. I don't know what that is. That's awesome. All right, on to the next one. So it's it's weird how some are already ready to go. And these, I mean, these are not too too bad, but they're not as ready obviously as her. She's uh, she's ready to roll. This one's already pipped, slashed out a little bit. Let's see what this combo is. This is looks like either GHI pastel or GHI pastel vanilla. Not sure, but pretty cool. I love GHI combos. So far, so good. Three eggs. Or she four eggs for GHI combos. I like this one. All right, four more. Let's hope uh, the odds continue to be the same. You can feel it, you can feel the baby. Ready to go. Another GHI Mojave combo. Uh, look at that head. Holy smokes. That's cool. Wow. That's nice. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Because that is, this head is not even nearly this faded out. So, I'm not quite sure what this could be. Maybe the same as that, but with fire instead. Not sure. Or maybe this is the cream. We'll see when it comes out. I don't think it's the cream. Could be. That's cool. All right. Let's see. So, again, guys, stick around till the end of this video because actually I'm going to show you all these babies whenever they're um, out of the egg and they've shed. So you guys can actually get a clear um, look of what they actually are after they shed and everything. So it might be two weeks before I uh, release this video. This week's video that I will, you'll, you'll, you'll have seen that video that will be released. We're releasing it this Thursday and that's going to be uh, about my DG Clown projects. All right, this looks to be either a, probably a vanilla or a normal. Not sure, nothing crazy there. So that's the first non-GHI so far. We'll go with these ones. There's two left. The ones in the front are not as developed as the ones in the back because the heat tape is back here. So these usually get more heat than the ones in the front, so they're usually ready faster than the ones in the front. In the incubator. All right, let's see here. I think we hit the cream combo. No, maybe not. This looks like a GHI, maybe just a GHI. Vanilla? Or just a GHI maybe. Nice, I like it. Lots of GHI, lots of GHI Mojave. These two are freaking insane. We'll see when they come out of the egg what they're gonna be. Close all that up. 
that's going to be a cool clutch to look at. Alright, last egg. This one's still plump. There's probably a lot of um, a lot of the fluid in there still. We won't mess with it too much after we cut it. We'll just cut it, get a good look, and then we'll put it back. And these should all be out within a couple of days, especially the ones here. They should be out by the end of the day today. Let's see. And that looks to be a... I think just a vanilla. Weird head. Really weird head. Different pattern than I would expect just from vanilla. But, we'll see. But anyways, we're not going to mess with it too much. I hate that when there's like, you know, blood on these ones. and not, I mean, it doesn't hurt the, doesn't hurt the, the snakes in any way. But, I just like when it's all clean, so... Yeah, guys, so next up, I'll show you guys what they look like after shed. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, so talk about this clutch. So this is just a normal, I think. I'm going to show you the whole clutch. I'm not going to hide what was, you know, show you guys the odds so you see exactly from the pairing. What did we uh, what did we make? Uh, what were the odds? Again, this was GHI, which is an incomplete dominant gene. Mojave, which again has an incomplete dominant gene. Vanilla, another incomplete dominant gene. And Pastel, another incomplete dominant gene. That means that all four of those genes have a super, right? Super Mojave, Super GHI, Super Pastel, and Super Vanilla. Um, the female was a fire. Again, incomplete dominant. She is, um, you can make super fires out of that. But fire and vanilla lay on the same allele. So a fire and a vanilla together will make a cream. That's what they, they nicknamed that. Uh, they nicknamed that combo. And uh, basically, um, anything that a cream produces will either be 100% vanilla. Well, everything will be either vanilla or uh, fire. Let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can get a little bit better. So this is the female that I was telling you guys about that was still in shed when I uh, when I was filming. I guess she uh, she shed out. I think this is a vanilla dorsal stripe like that. That's always vanilla. All right, you guys ready to see some more stuff? So we had some really really cool odds on the GHI stuff. Let's start with this, uh, I guess, simple GHI female. I love this gene, dark, super nice. But this is what I believe to be just a GHI. What's it? Nice little girl. Nice, dark, busy. And this combo stays really nice as an adult. I don't know if she is vanilla. No, I don't. I have I actually have a GHI fire and doesn't look anything like this. So let's zoom out again a little bit more just to kind of, there you go. So GHI. All right, let's move on to the next one. Guys, it gets crazy. Let's see, let's see this one. This little girl right over here. All right. So this is what I believe to be a GHI Mojave fire you can't always tell between fire and vanilla and these will be what's available will be available as either um vanilla or fire because i'm not 100 percent sure but if it was up to me i'd say this is a fire just because i made something else that i feel like that is the uh the one with the with the vanilla instead but as far as i know uh this is it uh i mean there's so much variation that you're gonna see in this um in this clutch that you it's just crazy what this specific it's almost crazy to think that ghi and mojave are not really like just because of how crazy the, the crazy change that it makes and how much it dominates uh the other um the other genes at play so we'll start with this i'm going to keep this one out and i want to take her sister right out just so you guys right next to each other and i think this is the ghi mojave uh, vanilla right over here. Sorry guys, I'm trying to 
right there. So let's hold on. Let's zoom out a little bit. Let's close this glitch off. I look how clean this girl is. Just one straight line all the way down the back. The head blushing, G Chai Mojave Vanilla, I think, and this is G Chai Mojave Fire, I believe. But oh my god. I mean, I love both looks. I can't even decide which one I like more. I can't. I just can't. It's impossible. It's nuts. And you can make super vanilla, super GHIs, just based on these, and then all the, you know, you can plug it into all the recessives that you want and all the codoms. So much to do with this. Okay, these two girls. We'll get them out of the way. Made a nice little boy, which I believe to be a GHI Vanilla Pastel. Super bright. With that head like that, I don't think that's just GHI Pastel. That has to be with the Vanilla playing. Or GHI Fire Pastel. So one of the two again. But I believe this is more of a... Uh, of vanilla because I think fire and pastel would have a much different wacky pattern together as opposed to pastel and vanilla they don't have the same reaction so nice little boy GHI vanilla pastel and the, G the, the vanilla gets brighter and brighter with sheds you start to notice it more and more the more it sheds and the more it eats don't forget guys, colors come in as these snakes grow. All right, so this is what I believe to be my hope bag. This happens to be everything from this pairing. So GHI, Mojave, Vanilla, Pastel, Fire. So you can call this a GHI Mojave Scream. The reason why I know this, so Mojave really, really, really um, takes over what the usual cream. I'll try to get a picture up um, right there, right here, of what a cream looks like or a scream looks like. Okay, so you understand that it's really, really obvious what that combo is. But the Mojave really kind of masks that. You can still see it. It's breaking out through the sides. The head is the giveaway because I do have the, the dad is without uh, fire and uh, his head is not even near as blushed out as this. So uh, this is the, this is everything. You can see it. You can see the pattern trying to break out from the sides and it has a kind of like an old washed out jeans, black jeans kind of look, you know, uh, this girl is ridiculous. I love this girl and she is most probably staying here. I think the only one crazier from this clutch is her brother, which I'm going to show you next. He's the last one in the clutch, um, but he's a dad. He's a he's a boy, and I already have the dad, so I don't really need him. So he will be up for grabs, but she is most probably going to stay here. So this is what I believe to be the GHI Mojave Cream. So GHI Mojave Fire Vanilla, no pastel in this boy. And this guy is just freaking nuts. I don't know if this is how it's supposed to look like, or he is also some sort of a paradox, but it's just that cream trying to fight the Mojave. And then the G Chai has that, you know, what it does, it just makes it all like a, I guess a grayish color with the dorsal stripe. The head, you can tell that there's more than just one of these enhancer jeans, uh, fire or vanilla. There's both of them in there, does this. Yeah, this guy is pretty cool. I'm tempted to keep him just based on what he looks like. But genetically, I already have the dad, so I don't really need him. But... Ugh, this is just... He's so nice to look at. When these came out of the egg, when I when I, when I first opened the... the when I cut up the, the, the eggs, I was just blown away with what this is going to look like. And then when they shed, I was even... Yeah, I'm just... I'm super stoked about this clutch. Super, super happy about this clutch. I'm going to leave you guys with a little bonus for I, what I hope to be next week's video of this clutch sheds out. All I can tell you is there's G-Chai in there. 
and is set for hypo. But the rest of this clutch is also insane. That's going to be next week. All right, guys. So that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I put a little sneak peek of next week's video. Um, if they shed. If not, I'll definitely have something up for you guys. Sorry that I'm a day late. I really, really want to show you guys this clutch. And they just finally shed out. Uh, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you guys can just... Give this uh, video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We have a lot more videos coming up for you guys. And like I said before, I'm going to start including different things in my life as they come. Uh, we are planning on moving from this house. Hopefully we can get a hobby farm and you guys will come along that journey with us as well. Uh, when I say we, I say me and Sam, my brother. He's not always in the videos. He's always out uh, meeting with clients, working and, you know, life. Uh, that's it guys. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Thank you